I'm Jay Diefenbach for AZ Central Sports alongside Coyotes Insider Sarah McClellan. Sarah, good to have you here. It's Thanksgiving week and the Coyotes fans have plenty to be thankful for. Shane Doan for one. Sarah did a uh, story on Shane this week and uh, some of the most memorable takeaways include whether or not Shane Doan is really human. What's it like <laughs> covering him on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, he's obviously, you know, one of the most esteemed captains in the league and the longest tenured, so uh, you always see a smile on his face. I think you can definitely tell how much he loves the game and I think having the younger players around this season has probably brought that, you know, joy and enthusiasm out even more. So um, you never really often find Shane Doan having a bad day, so I'm sure he has lots to be thankful for this thing. Yes. Too. In your story, you referenced the fact that he loves being a, a mentor to these younger guys, but also referencing the lesser role that he's had this season. Is that hard for him to come to grips with? He kind of said so. He said that, you know, it's kind of, you know, having to swallow his pride a little bit because he still wants to be, you know, a frontline player. And I think regardless of where he was in the lineup, he'd probably want to have that role. And that's just, as, you know, reconciling his age. He's 39 years old now. So uh, I think he definitely realizes the responsibility he has to obviously still be a captain and a leader but doing what's best for the team and, and right. it's interesting that you know he approaches this milestone for most goals in the franchise history at a time where he's asked to be unselfish and put the team's needs before his own because you know he'd love to be out there every shift right. every power play as much ice time as possible but he's having to you know share duties now with Max Domi Anthony Declare there's more players uh, with that offensive capability so it's interesting that he's going to you know probably become you know barring anything unforeseen the most most, you know, most goals in franchise history this season when he's on a lesser line. Right now he's at 374. Dale Howard Chuck has the franchise record at 379. Keith Kachuk is third. Yep. Um, what are some of the more memorable goals that you've seen Shane Doan score? Well, I first of all have to go back to the 2010 playoffs yeah. in that series with Detroit and he had one goal before he was sidelined with injury and that was obviously a meaningful time getting back in the playoffs but I also tend to think of the hat trick that he had his first career hat trick in January 2012 against uh, against the New York Islanders and it was a last second goal too I mean for your first hat trick that yeah. was like the best ending ever to score on a last second goal and more recently I think of a two goal performance he had against the Kings in 2000 2013 when the Coyotes were trying to push for a playoff spot they were on the road in LA and he was like a one-man wrecking crew I think he had a double-double in shots and hits and he had two goals and the Coyotes lost three to two but it was one of those performances where you just went wow this is a man who is trying his best and doing everything he can to try to right. will his team to victory leading by example is a fine way to go and again Coyotes fans can be thankful this Thanksgiving week for Shane Doan. <laughs> With Coyotes insider Sarah McClellan, I'm Jay Diefenbach, AZ Central Sports.